everybody. Welcome to Power Up Your PowerPoint with Janet. My very first PowerPoint tip is going to be around how to fit text on a page. Now, I'm sure that you know you shouldn't put too much text on one slide because people aren't going to read vast amounts of text on a PowerPoint slide. Ideally, try to edit the amount of text you have down to a reasonable amount. You still might find yourself with a word that's too long or with a sentence that's breaking funny or just with maybe a little more text than you might ideally want. Well, if you have this problem and you are trying to get your text to fit, you can do kerning and tracking in PowerPoint. And that just refers to adjusting the amount of space between the letter. You've got letter A, you've got letter B, and you can move them a little bit closer together. So obviously you don't want to do too much of this or else it's not going to be readable, but you can do that in PowerPoint to help make your content fit on your slide. So let's jump right in and see how that's done. Okay, so our first lesson is going to be around character spacing. So here we have a generic slide and you can see the title is a little awkward. You've got a long first line and then there's only one word on the second and third line. Well, looking at this space here, it looks like this word could fit up here just fine. Now there's one way we could do it. We could do it like this, but then you start getting into your margin. That doesn't look great. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to show you how to adjust the tracking and kerning. If I highlight these two words, I can go up here to the character spacing, click on the drop down menu, click more spacing. I can condense it by 0.3 and click OK. Well, that didn't do it. So let's go back up here, hit more spacing, and let's go up to 0.5 and see what happens. I'll click OK. Ah, there we go. Now this line fits neatly below this line while leaving a nice margin right here. And there you have it. That is how we adjust tracking and kerning in PowerPoint. So look at this ridiculously long text block. We've got one, two, three, four, five bullets, and each one has a little orphan down here. Well, we can fix these little orphans by highlighting the previous sentence, going back up to character spacing, clicking on more spacing, and condensing it by, let's start with a small number, 0.2, and see what that does. Ooh, there we go. No more orphan. So let's do that again here. This is a little tricky. Keep in mind that if I want to fix this orphan, I can actually start up here. So I'm gonna highlight that first sentence in that bullet, go to more spacing again, condense it to 0.2. Oh, that didn't quite do it. Let's try to condense it a little bit more see what happens when we do it at point three. Well, that's better. So we got rid of that orphan. We still got a little bit of raggedness here, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. Now this one, I think we can pull this word up to this line and that will fix that orphan. There we go. And then finally, we have one more little orphan down here, and we can fix that by highlighting these words. Going to more spacing, going to condensed, condense it to 0.2, and there we have it. So now we have this long text block, and all of the bullets fit neatly on the page with margins, with white space, and without any little odd words hanging out by themselves. So there you go. 